to have a lecture in front of many people from all over the world. Well, congratulations to achieve your sales mastership and diamond mastership, Fiong and Ying, both from Singapore, right? Wonderful job. You know, for me, it took a lot of time to, to reach, reach a diamond master, but you are so quick. Anyway, congratulations. Well, uh, tonight, um, Xia Ting, she gave a brief introduction about myself and, um, well, but most proud, proud of thing that I want to share about myself is I'm a mother of 10 year old son. Okay, before I you know starting the lecture, I told him, well, can I do well? And he said, Mom, if you believe you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so, well, I learned something from my son again. And I hope that we communicate, he, uh, communicate well. Uh, here, English is not my first language, but I will do my best. If you don't understand anything, just let me know anytime. I know we have a Q&A time, but before that, if you have any questions, just you are welcome. And today, um, I'd like to share about Auto Sales Master. I prepared some uh, presentation materials, so I'm going to share the screen. Okay. Well, um, many people uh, liken success as climbing the mountain, right? They start from the bottom, that eventually they don't stop, they reach the summit. Yes, I partially agree. Success is like achieving or arriving to the summit of the mountain. But in anatomy, the success is more like um, climbing the mountain, holding hands together, helping each other so you know reaching the summit is not like um, our effort alone but it's the teamwork right i'm not the only one reaching the summit i help my partner i help my sponsor so we make a teamwork to reach the summit together okay but sometimes success to me is not climbing the mountain but it's more like crossing the desert because you know, um, in the desert, sand dunes may disappear overnight. You know, climb the mountain, you can estimate if you go up four kilometers, you reach certain post, right? You can read a sign post and you can calculate. If I, you know, walk like uh, uh, certain steps fast, I can reach to the summit, maybe within three, three hours and four hours. But in anatomy, it is not so. Right, it's like uh, crossing the desert because um, sandstorm overnight can change everything. So even though you have a map, when you reach a certain point on the map, you cannot recognize it because it changes all the time. We do have a lot of, you know, we do have a you know, map. Our sponsors introduce, hey, this is the map, you have to follow this. And I follow faithfully, but sometimes I found my, myself lost. So I was figuring out what's happening to me, what's wrong with me. <laughs> but later on, I found that success in anatomy is more like crossing the desert. I'm going to explain why throughout our presentation. Because um, success in anatomy is more like a crossing the desert. Of course, we need a map and we need a compass as well. Well, when you have a map, you can tell where you are, but sometimes you get lost because you don't know which way you should in a heading for. That's when we need a compass. So achieving auto sales master is like a map. Everybody should, you know, you know, go toward the auto sales master. But the principles, the map re received from the company, from sponsors, is a principles. Principles is the law that can be applied by the people, right? In many different situations. Principles, they usually don't change. But applying principles differ according to people, their situations, you know, their abilities, and everything. So um, we need a compass. And I will introduce a compass later on. You all know about the compass, eight steps to success. 
I will uh, introduce you know, how I apply those principles to reach the desti destination. Maybe that is the one way of applying principles. You may get the idea, wow, that is a good way. Or, or you may, maybe I'm not able to apply this. It's okay. But you can learn something about the, you know, applying the principles in, in our own ways. So I have a question. What does working mean to you? Where everybody unmuted, so I have to answer myself. Well, according to CEO Park, he said, you know, working or to work means include all activities brings you from where you are now and to your goals. So your goals are here, now you are here. Whether you make money a lot or small, if you, you know, um, try to bring yourself from where you're now to your goal, little by little, now you're working. But now you're making a lot of money, even royal master, crown master, imperial master. But if you don't bring yourself from where you are now to the goals, you're not working. That is the CEO of uh, Park hang definition. And also, when you choose your work, hang Park, CEO, he suggested you have to ask yourself, does this work make me rich enough? There are so many kind of work around us and we have so many chances to choose, right? But you have to ask yourself, does this work make me rich enough? You know, rich means not only the money, but my, our lives, right? I love, um, I love what I did in the past, not as my, not as nurse. I, I actually, I was not a very good nurse. <laughs> I worked in the administration part and I actually didn't, I thought it was not my job. So I always looking for something new, but when I choose a job, I did my best. But when I think about whether I, you know, like it or does the work make me rich, it was, the answer was no. So when I uh, began to raise my child, I, th I thought about the future, you know, after retirement. And I a little bit began to, you know, worry about my future later on life after retire. So I was looking for something. I read a lot of books. I participate in seminars. I watch videos about success. But um, those things that I learned from books and seminars a little bit far from me by nature right and then when i listened to ceo park kang Gil's, you know video about balanced life i began to feel that this is the work yes i want to have the balanced life and i really really want to be rich money wise and life wise so now i know many of you um work heavy your main job and adami might be might be your second job or some, some people here work at me as a full-time job, right? So you have to ask yourself, does this work, which I'm you know, working on, make me rich enough? And number three, CEO Park hang also mentioned about the essence of work. Can you get rid of your work? Or if you get rid of your work, you know, does it still give you income? or nothing. You have to think about it. If you get uh, get rid of your work and still get an income, you might be you might be very successful in your career, right? But most of cases we are eliminated by someone, which means we lost we lose job, which means no income, right? But when I think about Atomy as business, you can get rid of your work. Of course, you have to make or create your work in the first place to get rid of work. I will show you the path later on in our lecture. And then CEO Park hang said, the most, the most important goal to achieve on your own is to become auto sales master. I know here we have a royal master and even higher, like a crown master, imperial master. Many of you, they you want to become imperial master someday. But why CEO Park Hang-gil, he said, you're, you're 
most important goal on your own is to achieve auto sales master. I know, I know there are some auto sales master here. You may not agree or you may agree, right? But I, I totally agree about this. When you become true auto sales master, you achieve 70% or 80% of your success in Atomy. Isn't it a wonderful thing, right? You know, in uh, income wise, Auto Sales Master, they earn like a $2,000 to $8,700. It's a system income. So if you reach $8,700 a month, you become the you know, leaders club. But so income should you know, range from $2,000 between $8,700, right? So, so, so many uh, Sherwin Rose Master, Diamond Master fall in this category. When you become auto sales master in the beginning stage, you begin with you know, less or you know, more around $2,000. But eventually you will rise from this bottom to 8,000 and then eventually become a leader's club, okay? And we are not talking about labor income, but it's our system income. You know, um, Atomy is kind of a mixture of labor income and system income in the beginning. You feel when you become a sales master, you, you earn some of the, you know, commission, general commission or mastership bonus, you, but you feel like you're happy, but it's not enough. And you put a lot of efforts, but you feel like you, uh, you earn less than your, you know, labor, right? So I always say in the beginning, Atomy income, even though we pursue for a system income, we started from labor income. It's very honest. If you work hard, you earn money. If you don't work, <laughs> you get less, right? But eventually, if you, you know, stay on the path, do uh, apply principles you learn from the company, from your sponsors, then you will eventually uh, reach system income. Okay. So, First thing, what do you have to do? Of course, you have to become a sales master. You know, here, uh, Fion, Fion, is that right? Fion, Fion, Singapore, congratulations. You opened the first door. You just step on the first door of, you know, becoming auto sales master. It's the beginning. Or the, when you become an auto sales master, you will feel like you are just started a business, right? I always feel like when I become the diamond master, I felt like, oh, I'm starting my business now. And when I become the Sharon Rose master, I feel like now is the time I really started my business. Okay. Well, it, um, so first thing is you have to become sales master. So you know about the sales master. You know, reaching 700,000 point of value as a personal PB, you become special agent. And then for 15 days from starting from first to day 15 or 16 to end of month, your left to side group total PV reaches 2.5 million. Your right side PV reaches 2.5 million, right? So, um, so this happened two times a month. If you reach first half, second half, you become a uh, sales master, right? So, uh, general commission based on these scales. I know your group has many experience about compensation plan. Also, before you enter the um, Atomy business, your partners and your sponsors explain well about the compensation plan. So I'm going to uh, skip about this, but you want to start with this 15 scores, right? And then eventually you will grow up to 700,000, 1.5 million points, eventually 50 million points left and right side. That is the ceiling, right? So how many times when you become a sales master, you, this is the kind of ideal state. Sometimes you are less or more, but uh, you got 300,000, 300,000 uh, 300, point of value eight times for 15 days. And plus mastership bonus, so you you receive those money. And being auto sales master, the money we get uh, from being sales masters and auto sales masters, these values are equivalent to many many different things. You have to think about real estate when you buy a house, 
or when you rent a house, how much money do you have to put to get this system income? For instance, if you want to make two thousand U.S. dollars as a, um, you know, uh, the uh, as a rent rental fee from, you know, rental renting this house, how much money do you have to put? At least you know, uh, five hundred thousand U.S. dollars or more, right? Think about the savings you have to you have to you know deposit more than two million dollars according to the interest rate around these days. Now, an inter interest, uh, interesting rate is about 1% or less than 1%, or sometimes 0% in other countries, sometimes minus, right? Or when you run the business, if you want to make 2,000 US dollars a month, how many hours of work and how many people do you have to hire? So this is amazing, amazing income. What about lottery? Well, um, I'm not sure about other other countries, you know, uh, lottery, but in Korea, we have a pension lottery. If you um, win this lottery, the, the government will give you like uh, $5,000 every month for 20 years. It's great but the chance to win this lottery is really, really rare, right? You have to spend a lot of time. And I never seen uh, anybody around me win this, this kind of lottery. So it's very, very rare. What about Olympic gold medalist? In Korea, if you, want, if you win uh, one gold medal, you will receive um, 1,000 US dollars in pension for your entire life. If you win two gold medals, you will earn 2,000 US dollars in pensions. Do you want to be a gold medalist or to be, do you want to be an auto sales master? <laughs> okay, think about it, you know, how hard to become, to become the gold medalist, right? They spend hours, hours practicing and practicing, and they spend like a, one or two minutes to win this gold, gold medals. But in anatomy, if you put like one year, two years, three years, longest five years, you can become gold medalist like. It's a wonderful thing, yeah. Now we talk about outputs of being an auto sales master, but what should we input to get this kind of outputs? I call this input auto consumers. Auto consumers, there are so many definitions, but according to CEO Park Han Gil, he said, um, auto consumers, they know how to join the membership, you know, so they, they can teach people how to join the membership under them, left side and right side. And they have a knowledge on the products. Also, they have a good product experience, so they can share those good experiences with their people around them. And they voluntarily orders ranges from five to 50,000 to, you know, um, 100,000 PV It's not 10,000 monthly. It's a voluntary ordering. And they also give you, they introduce you to someone else they know. So these are the auto consumers. So how many auto con consumers do you think you will need? Maybe 50, over 50 left and right side, 100. Wow, that is really, really great job, great work to do. Oh no, some some people, you know, may feel that I cannot do. But not, it's not about joining 50-50, but making 50-50 uh, auto consumers. That's a lot of work, but no worries, because an atomy system allow us and sharing points and partners. Your partners, partners, yours. Your partners, partner, your partners can be your partners' partners. The points under you can be your partners' points too. Partners' points, partner, partners, consumers' points can be yours too. We share the points and partners. That is the beauty of Atomy job. But I'll tell you one thing: to become auto sales master is um, it's not easy, but it's not difficult. According to the company standard, you become uh, 12 times of sales master a year. 
But here, auto sales semester, I'm talking about not company standard. I'm talking about market standard, which means whether you work or rest or stop, this automatic system income kick comes, comes in your pocket. So there are so many uh, auto consumers around you. If they stop, the money, come, the money stops. I call this period of time as a labor time, labor income time. Atomy has a kind of labor income period. It overshaded with the auto, auto, consume, auto sales masters. Even though you got the pin of auto sales master, but you're not real auto sales master because it's a company standard, the company is so generous. So if you maintain 12 times a year or 12 times, uh, or um, 12 times or six months, it's okay. You become, you, know, you become sales master, auto sales master. So some people say, I become auto sales master when I started after three months after um, uh, starting business in the beginning stage of you know my business because I didn't understand all about auto sales master I was amazed what am I doing I'm you know I'm doing this business a year I haven't reached auto sales master but when I you know when I began to understand about this automatic system um, I began to see it takes time but it's worthy to take your time and to be you need to be really really patient about building up auto consumers and you know you are qualified in the market as auto sales master not as companies does it make sense <laughs> okay and um success people or you know people who work effectively they have their own work descriptions in atomy the essence of work is to eliminate work get rid of work but to get rid of your work first you have to create work nobody tells you what to do well uh, when i work in the hospital or in other jobs i always job descriptions so i know what i need to do right what i what i need to do in my in the boundary of my job so i i i read a job description i can tell which way, which work i belong to but in anatomy nobody tells me I felt frustrated and I feel like I was I also feel like you know touching the big elephant when myself blinded right but when I began to listen to seminars listen to many success people I began to realize the description of work in to become the road of auto sales master number one using the product that is the part of the work very important work but there is a two differences you consumer only spending money the other one is you become rich consumer which means you spend money and this consumption brings you some commissions you begin to you know use more product because you, the money cup comes in your pocket you begin to use more and more and then you are not only using the product yourself you begin to introduce that's why you you make groups of rich consumers not just consumers but making big groups big groups of rich consumers that is the second job building up this auto auto consumer group who make uh, who make them rich as consumers and then third job is you have to invite yourself to the system you have to plug in the system that is a really, really basic, basic and foundation of work. If you don't follow these steps, at some point you will pummel. You will, you know, your foundation will be shaken. And then you begin to expand. How? You invite your consumers who are not rich consumers and who are rich consumers. You invite them to systems and you also invite your partners to the system until when? until you become strong enough to get rid of your work and then you have to repeat this process again 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 and again so atomy work is not that complicated it's not difficult but it's not easy 
because repeating these things over and over is, is difficult, right? You need a consistency. You need persistence, you know? So not because atomic work is complicated, but because of this duplication process is time, time consuming sometimes. So you need to be very patient. You need to patient about yourself and also you need to patient about your partners too. And also you need to be patient about your sponsors too. Maybe they are in the process of growing together. So we need to be patient about everybody. So I can um, that's define auto sales master like this. Auto sales master is a rich consumer who has many follower rich consumers. So, um, you know, being auto, what kind of auto, auto sales master, it really depends on how, how many rich consumers you, you know, nurture. Okay, many people say, I have so many consumers under me, like a 6,000, 5,000, but how many rich consumers do you have under you? So now I will talk about a compass. Compass, we talk about the map. In a direction, destination, how gonna reach. The company show clearly about this compass. It's a, to, a step to success. Now I know uh, a lot of um, success people, they mention about eight step to success. So I will focus on applying this eight step to success in my situation. I hope it gives a tip or ideas to apply or insight to get it, some insight in your business. You know about these eight steps, setting a goal, make commitments, make contact lists, invite them continually. You have to show the plan to many people as possible. And also important thing is you, you have to follow up on those people you explain, you, you know, you share the product and you need to have a consultation with your sponsors on a regular basis. And you have to duplicate this process over and over. So uh, when I set up, when I um, help my partners to set a goal, you know, I first started with like um, um, this life scenario. We all do this life scenario, but I found that some of them had a very, very hard time to dream a dream or to write down their life scenario. First thing I didn't understand like i felt so frustrated why you cannot dream like this but now as time goes by when i begin to meet a lot of people i begin to see and then i i begin to see it, i need to change approach so i use this way first i focus on helping people to achieve sales master first and then auto sales master okay so set a goal even though you don't know what to do even though you don't know when just set the goal success people or not successful people their difference is they first set the goal even though they don't know how to do it they set the goal and they will find that other method of achieving self achieving the goal will follow them strangely you know um in when you decided to become diamond master did you know how to do it Fion, when you become sales master when you decided to become sales master did you set the you know specific goals every day like one or two months ago were you able to do so no what when you decided to do so strange thing happens your consumers begin to you know call you right and you begin to see some people you were never aware in the past, right? So set the goal, even though you don't know, set the goal, very specific goal. I challenged myself to become sales master by when? Like uh, uh, January 1st, have 2022nd, something like this. And not success people, they say, well, I want to become, I want to challenge myself, become a sales master by maybe May or June, but I don't know. It's still so difficult. I have three children and I don't know so many people and I'm not good at, you know, sales, something like this. They find excuses instead of finding their goals. So um, I always, you know, print this out 
I ask my partners, hey, write down your name and ID. Just write down the specific date and post it in a desk or anywhere you go and you see often. And then I introduced uh, the, this uh, big plans. But here, this is a three-year plan. But I asked them to put week by week goals. So if you decided to become sales master 2020 February, you know, first half, you have to go backward. So you have to get four times a commission a week, right? Maybe uh, February, January, the fourth week, I become agent, but I will get three times of bonus. And then how many times the bonus I should get? Third week, two times. Maybe I try to, two, uh, second week, two times. And now January 1st, I get one time a bonus a week. December, I got one time a bonus. So you, you know, draw backward this way. If you cannot draw three years, five years, 10 years, it's too difficult. And I always ask them, hey, set the goal of being sales master and then draw backward. And start with how many times of a commission you need a week, which might be a little bit, little bit easier, right? You may start the fourth week of December, one time a week commission. It's something you can achieve, achieve right? It's achievable with the help, your, help of partners, consumers, right? And then you increase gradually. And then you reach it four times a week. And then you repeat one more time, you become sales master. Okay. And then after this, even though they don't know how, when, how, and I make them, I help them to write it down again. I challenge myself to become auto sales master by when, write it down. Well, many people misunderstand about goals. People who have goals and don't have, uh, doesn't have a specific goals, they always say, I failed or I achieved. No, if somebody has a goal and specific plans, they say, I achieved 65% of goals, right? But if you don't have goals, you don't have a plans. When you set the goal, you can, you know, those specific plans will follow, right? Maybe you, you decided this week, I will get a one-time commission, right? So you plan several things. Okay, I will contact five people a day, or I will um, get 50,000 point value every day. Okay, so you have a specific goals and plans, and then you can tell, oh, I reach 50% or I reach 70%. So the goal is a signpost or a milestone to the goals. It's not something that tells you you failed or you're not, you're not failed. I always use the goal as a milestone so you can measure. Wow, I'm here now. My goal is here. So I have to go this much. So I have to make my speed how much something like this. OK, and then second commitments, I know. A lot of people, they know they need to be positive, right? They don't blame others. They don't have to blame themselves and others. They always, you know, uh, you know, smile to others and be nice to other people, partners, and sponsors. But think about this. When I uh, try to help my partners and myself, I begin something uncomfortable. I make a lot of nice and positive commitments to start with, but they're always, you know, make me tumble. Tumble was my negative attitude inside. So I found out success people always, they um, decided to stop something first before they starting something new. So I asked my partners, Hey, write down three things you need to stop right away. And then write down three things you need to start right away. Okay, so think about this. One heavy chain smoker, he smokes the three, you know, three packets of cigarette every day. 
and then he wants to be healthy so he decided to exercise every day like a one hour a day and he began to have a balanced life without quitting you know smoking can he be successful to be healthy no what does he need to do first he need to stop smoking then he need to start new things they are making him healthy i think this principle applies to atomy too if you want to start wonderful new positive things you have to stop negative things so when i ask my partners what do you want to stop many of them in common they say i will show you um i will stop this screen i will share the band that i run and shared with my uh, partners Okay, before ABI program, I learned ABC program, Atomy Basic Course. Um, well, now uh, in Korea, we do have an ABC, ABR program. So a lot of people, they uh, get the advantage of this you know, education program from company. But my partners in, in uh, America who are Spanish speakers and my partners in Hong Kong, they don't have uh, this opportunity. So I started this Atomy Basic Course and I help them apply specific principles according to eight step to success. And my partner, Abraham, he's uh, Mexican American. He said, I will stop procrastination. I will stop making excuses. I will stop worrying about other people's opinion. And he started, I will start being proactive. I will start inviting people. I will start being positive. And Jane, uh, another my partner, she said they made a lot of commitments here. And here says she said things I'm going to stop laziness. I have to put in a lot of effort, but I can't be lazy. And she said she's going to stop caring about others' opinions. Many times I want to share and talk about Adam to people, but I'm afraid of what they think about me. And she's going to say she said she's going to stop inefficient time management make good use of my time and jane in another way she need to start i will efficiently humbly serve sponsors and partners while expressing their opinions clearly and i help my partners with my best efforts while diligently building lines and ex uh, ex examining my partners networks participate in system with partners in an attitude of learning rather than alone always learn new knowledge and share it with partners yeah so they uh, you know begin to write it this uh, in the beginning and also i help them to uh, make commitments every day many people say when they you know start the day they actually make kind of a commitments but i always give direction hey think about three things you need to stop today three things you need to start today every day every day different but as time goes by, you will see the same pattern, same commitments again and again. That is the things you need to work on. Yes, that is the area we really need to improve. we we'll stop or we'll start. So commitment is, is not, uh, making commitment is not a one-time event, but it, it's a continuous event you have to do every day. Okay. Mm, I will go back to the presentation again. So if you have a trouble with making commitments, I think this is a good start. That you can do it. Maybe while you're listening, you can write it down. Now, I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to start something. Okay. Or um, you can decide one time when you have a team meeting, you can um, you know, share with your partners. What do you want to start? What do you want to start this week? Something like this. And then list up. This is a really, really important part. Making dreams, making goal is the first priority. And then making commitments every day on a regular basis is really, really important. And this is a really practical part of the A step to success. Well, did you are you good at making list? Well, according to uh you know, our seminar, you have to, 
at least have a 200, 250 people's, you know, uh, contact list. Uh, when I write it down, I came up with about 220 people. Well, but some people say, you know, I actually have 10 people, 20 people, 30 people, 50 people. So um, I always ask them start with their lineage from their my office page. Here, this is a format I provided to my to my partners. Hey, right from left to side, write down their name and ID. Just write down their name and ID from your lineage. Okay, right side, name and ID. Okay, write it down. So here is some example. I always ask them start with 40 people. And this left to 40 people, right side of 40 people, total of 80 people. You can do it, right? Okay, but um, many of partners, <laughs> okay, they did like this. Some people, they fit in, uh, you know, 40 people or less than 40. And this is something you need to work on later on in the future. Uh, this Avril, she's uh, Mexican, Mexican American. She um, has been a member for uh, several years, I think in one or two years, but she hasn't worked. She actually didn't know about Adam business. And, but lately she participated in the program. I asked her to write it down. This was the, her lineage status. Not many, but hopeful. At least she write it down her lineage, and this is one Korean member. She began to write it down there his lineage from left to side and right side. Okay, and this is and then after that, I asked them to analyze their uh, lineage. Okay, this is the auto consumers. You remember the definition of auto consumers? They have received the commission. They know how to join the membership. They know how to make up you know, orders on their own. They introduce people to your friends. I mean, introduce your friend, and uh, introduce their friend to you. So auto consumers, how many? Start with 20. If you have just one, you're lucky. You can start with one person. If you, ha you don't have zero, if you don't have anybody, it is time to you work on this part. And then I uh, make another one auto consumers but they haven't had any commissions yet and repeat buyers online but they are using less than 20 items repeat buyers but you deliver product to them and they are using less than 20 items and they made their first purchase online but didn't make any uh, repeat you know purchase repeat orders first purchase by delivery and there are some people who sign up, but they didn't make any purchase. So analyze them. Okay. So when I ask them do this, they can begin to see clearly what they need to do next with this group of people. If somebody sign up and didn't make any purchase, you have to lead them to buy at least one product right? Whether it's a delivery online, you need to help them use the product, you know, make a purchase of our Atomy products. If they, you know, made a, their first purchase online or delivery, your next goal is to help them to use over 20 products from Atomy. Eventually, you will help them. If you deliver in a product to them, you have to help them to buy online themselves. So, if they become auto consumers, which means they introduce people to you, but didn't have a chance to get a commission, you have to help them become auto consumers. When they be on the way to this way, you can invite them to seminars. You can also have a chance to introduce Atomy business. So you know how to, you know, take care, how to follow up on your consumers using this anal analysis. Okay, and, and finally, my potential consumers. So uh, my list has, you know, many different kinds. First, it started from lineage, and then you make an analysis according to, you know, consumer group, and then this is your potential group. You have to add potential consumers every day. So uh, here are some categories you can, you know, divide. Maybe there are some family members, relatives who are not members yet, 
write it down left left side if uh, your father's side i mean your husband's side or you have uh, other family members in other countries you can divide them but usually i put families in one line okay and then schools from elementary school middle school college high school you can put them again you keep repeating this process your neighbors you move around sometimes you live in malaysia but you you lived in korea before in korea you live in Daejeon, seoul so it's so there are so many reasons you can you know uh, think about so left and right side you decide oh okay and uh okay and previous job or present jobs if you have a religion you you can think about the religion hobbies you can you know, put hobbies so you have many kinds of um you know list of which makes your business very bountiful <laughs> okay now number four and six step invitation follow-up i put them together um when I ask my partners, uh, invite some, some, you know, invite them to do something they are really, really afraid of, because they think the invitation is something big, right? But invitation can be many. So here is a certain format I use for my uh, my partners. Hey, if you feel it's difficult, try five people a week. If you can do it, try five people a day. You eventually started to find people in the beginning stage of the business, but you eventually, you know, uh, move up to five people a day or 10 people a day or 20 people a day. It can be right. Write down their name and your plans. What are you going to invite them to do? Do you want to invite them to use the product, skincare product or functional food product or living and, you know, daily, you know, necessary product, whatever? Or you can invite them to watch the videos. You can send them short YouTube video clips, right? Or you can invite them to sponsor a meeting. Or you can invite the online meeting like this. Or you can invite them Success Academy if they are ready or not ready, you don't know. Just invite them, you have plans. And then you write down the result and follow up. Here is a, some example. So um, Jian Lee and her number, I uh, invite her to watch Adam Yan videos number three. And I send it via SNS 24th. She watched it 25th and wants to buy your shampoo after watching this, something like this. You have a kind of a journal and recording of your business. And then Sun Min Lee, I ask her to sign up for Adam Yan Consumer Club program, you know, uh, sponsored by Adam Yan Headquarter Office. Uh, he's, uh, she said yes to participate in the program. Hooray! But la later on, uh, Miss Kim next door, I asked her, I invited her to use a new product, Hey Dog, for her pets. And she declined. She prefers other brand. So I gave her a catalog explaining the you know, uh, ingredients of the product. Sometimes I'm successful. Sometimes I, you know, they recline or they deny to buy it. It's okay. So I put the self evaluation here. So um, this gives me kind of a clear direction what I need to do next. When I you know put the record of on the follow up, it gives me uh, idea how to uh, deal with the consumers. I've been writing this kind of a journal over years, and these are the record of mine. Oh, because of this background, you cannot see it, but. There are so many uh, business according to eight, 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 eight course and eight, eight step to success. I applied every day in my uh, in my business. So uh, in our life scenario book, you will see this eight core checklist. So uh, if you don't, if you cannot evaluate yourself, you cannot improve. So simply you can you know put a circle or X. I did invite somebody this day you circle if i uh, should have the presentation i put circle if i have a chance to you know communicate with my consumer uh, sponsors yes or no x so when i focus on x 
I can tell, oh, this area I need to improve. I can see it clearly. So these are the example you use the uh, how to follow up on your consumer, on your business. But you don't need to do everything, right? I introduce. You can choose. Maybe you can try this this time, or you can try that next time. You're fine. Something is really, really suitable for you. I made a lot of mistake on the on the way, but I begin to see clearly what is suitable for me and what is the principle that I can get so that my partners can apply these principles when they do this business. And you know the shoulder plan. Shoulder plan, including uh, Atomy company is philosophy and uh, compensation plan, company instruction, and the products and your vision. Important thing about showing the plan is, you know, if you have an appointment with your partners or is, you know, consumer, you have you showed up, you explain about your business. If you don't, you don't do it. No, don't do it. Do it on a regular basis. If you, especially in the um, beginning stage, set the specific goal. I will do three times a week. I will do it one time a week, one time a day. Whatever goal might be, you do it. If you don't have anybody to explain, explain to yourself in front of the mirror. I actually, I said, like in the beginning, I said three times of, uh, three times a week goal. Sometimes I don't have an appointment. I stand in front of the, you know, chalkboard. I begin to explain. And it took me like a 30 minutes, sometimes five minutes, 10 minutes, do it on a regular basis. And then when somebody who is ready to listen to you, and then you will be ready to explain. If you don't have this time, when somebody who are ready comes to you, you are not ready then. So make yourself ready by practicing this explaining the business on a regular basis. And then consultation. This is really, really important. Okay, success people, they always ask questions to the success people, to their mentors, right? So ask your sponsors about your problem, about your vision, about your, uh, you know, your determination, about your commitments, ask them and share them. But here, you all know about this, right? So I here want to add one more thing. Do you ask to yourself? Ask yourself. You know, um, every morning when I get up, I go to the bathroom. First thing I go to the bathroom, I look at the mirror and I high five myself and I ask question to myself. I'm not asking question to myself of the present, but I'm asking questions to myself of the future. I need to be successful. And I also, everybody here uh, to be successful because being successful is the journey to find your true self. There is a really brilliant, brilliant self of yours inside who are not discovered yet. But by asking this question to yourself, you can knock on yourself. Hey, knock, successful Naya Som Lee, successful Xia Ting, successful Fion, successful Mungyu Lee, answer me, answer me. And then maybe it's awkward, you know, asking yourself, knock on, knock on the door and I mean, knock on your brain, right? But something strange begin to happen. Without your consciousness, sometimes uh, wonderful ideas come, pops into your head. Something, uh, some goals you never, you know, you never dream to achieve, you know, you have a courage to achieve. So please take time to ask questions to yourself, to yourself of the best of best. And then eventually you will become the best of the best. Now duplication, you know, you repeat this process, process again and again until when? until you become successful, 
until your partners become successful. Okay. Now, my one last advice. What do you see? Okay. Me, 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 me. <laughs> you know, you see strange, strange geometries, right? But if I put them in certain orders, what do you see? <laughs> 